When did five and below not be five and, and below in no more? The language is inappropriate, so my bad, y'all. Oh, big brain, big brain. Meanwhile. Okay, hey, y'all. Oh, am I not being loud enough? Okay. Uh, Before we get into this video, I would just like to say, I be putting my blood, sweat, and a little bit of my big toe into these videos. So if you could please subscribe, that would be nice. Hey, y'all. Hey, welcome back to another video. I am Shane, and I am sorry about the lighting. I know yellow light is, like, not what the girls want to see, but that's all I got to say. My ring light is back at my college dorm, and I refuse to buy another one. Because, like I said, this is Betty on a budget, not Betty with bands. But today, I'm coming with a... A new concept. So I was scrolling on Pinterest one night. And I saw these shoes right here. It popped up. And I was like, these are so ugly. So y'all know what I did. I ran to five and below. I literally got all this stuff for five and below. Total cost was $15. So I got these. Next best thing. And they're a little bit more wider. So I'll be able to put more like keyboard tappy thingies on them. And I got this gamer keyboard. This was ten dollars at five and below. When did five and below not be five and, and below in no more? No one told me that. Like, yeah, I don't even have. Ooh, I do not even have like a computer to hook up to this keyboard. So this keyboard would have no other purpose but for this experiment. But I got a black one. We're going to take this keyboard and these shoes and I will give you excellence. So I'm guessing step one is literally to remove the pieces from the keyboard. So I'm about to Google a video on how to do that exactly. But I don't feel like smashing this against anything. The video said to take uh, the damn toppy thing of a thing, the top part of a thing of a binder clip. They say get a binder clip, but everybody in the comments was like, I use my fingers. So I'm gonna try my fingers, but right when the fingernail break, then that's the end of the video. Oh, never mind. Your fingers work. On the back of the keyboard is these long pieces, which might be a hassle if we try to hide glue it, cause then it's gonna stand up. We have two options. This piece is going to get in the way if we just try to stick it up here with hot glue because if anything hits these edges, it's going to fly off. Now, what I'm thinking is that we can either A, try to take the thing off the back or we can just really poke holes all over the shoe and glue it inside of the hole. Big brain, big brain, genius, genius. I'm too smart for my own good, you know, 4.0 GPA. Not not in real life, but in my head, you know? I am convinced I'm a genius. I literally screwed it in there. Y'all wow. not thinking like me, like... Y'all not... But it still pop out, but y'all see that bulk is gone. Y'all, that's tough. The method is get your get a drill or get something that pops a hole. Anything that you could pop a hole in, perfect. Me, I got this drill bit. I don't know what it's called. It looked like a screw. I got a screw drill bit and I literally marked it with a bronze sharpie. You feel me? You feel me? You see me? You see me? I did that. Then boom, went in with a drill. Bow, 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 bow. Simple. Pop the keyboard with my finger. Hey, watch this, watch this. You see this one? Pop that shit with my finger. Watch this. Watch this. Girl, I thought I broke my nail. Okay, y'all. So now that we got the logistics out of the way, we can finally get started. So step one is sand your shoe. Now, I know these shoes have edges and ridges on them, but we still gonna sand them to our best ability. Step two will pretty much be popping off the pieces that you want to use and then organize them into what you want it to say or look like. So for one of my shoes, it just doesn't say anything. For another shoe, it does say something. So here I wanted to show y'all what the shoes say, but now that I look back on it, the language is inappropriate, so my bad, y'all. But I seem very proud of myself by my hand movements. But we're going to get into the next step. I think we on step three so right here i'm pretty much just taking my finger and measuring where i need to drill the hole at and i'll just keep my finger there and put the power drill next to my finger i know it's not safe but that's just what i did y'all can use the marker to mark it instead of using your finger but i just felt really comfortable with myself so that's what i did 
I'm just showing y'all what the hole look like and me inserting the piece. Pretty much my circles or squares or whatever you want to call them, they're not perfect. None of them at all are perfect. But I just wanted to sit it there to see how the placement was going to look. Make sure nothing was too close from each other. Make sure they was kind of in a straight line. You know all that good stuff. After that, you are really just going to repeat this step over and over until you feel sufficed with yourself. So we have finally got into the easiest part of the video so i'm pretty much just gonna pop one of them keys up i'm gonna take some hot glue and i'm gonna put it on the key so you know how i said it was like four little parts so i do north east south and west if you know what i mean like up down left right all that other good stuff and then i simply just pop it into the hole and since we already measured it it fits and we don't have nothing else to worry about and we just gonna repeat that method until the end of the shoot I give a fuck and be fake for eight motherfucking hours. God damn, boy. Shit, why I gotta keep coming here? Why give me another job? With whatever. I'm with everything. Like, I'm with it all. I have no hoes, Josh. <laughs> These bitches don't fuck with me. So why the fuck do I have this reputation, huh? I don't have any hoes. These bitches don't fuck with me, Josh. What it do, baby? Yeah.